In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a budget. It's probably the last budget you'll ever need in a spreadsheet, using a spreadsheet. Basic, easy to use. Everyone should be using something like this. It's simple, adaptable, it's even portable. You can copy a version onto your smartphone and just sync it on a regular basis. So ignore what's on the right for now. You start by putting in the dates, of course. So you'll type in the first date of the year, and then you simply use your fill handle to bring that all the way down for the entire year. And that puts in all your dates for you. Now, next, I have income. If you want, you can have a details column. And then expenses, and again, a details column. And here, you're going to have your running balance. Real simple, I'll explain. Before we start anything on the left-hand side, let's come over here to the right. Here, you're going to put in your income information. Now, everybody's income information is different. Some of us get paid every two weeks, some of us every week, some of us once a month. Uh, and if you have a good idea as to what the pay is going to be, it makes this project that much easier. Otherwise, you're going to have to put in your pays one at a time, all right, uh, as they happen. Most of us, however, have a pretty good idea what we're going to be taking home on a regular basis. So here, in this example, I've got every two weeks, the take-home pay is 2000 okay? And this, of course, would change. That's the whole purpose of this exercise is not just to put in a budget that works for now, but if you change this number, I want the number to change all the way through my spreadsheet here. So if you get a raise and you're up to 2,500, I want to be able to type it once and have it show up automatically all the way through. And that's really simple. All you need to do is here, put a formula that says equal whatever's in that cell. So equal J7. And here, this person's getting paid every first and 15th of the month. So on the 1st and 15th of every month, it's equal J7. You might be wondering why there's a dollar sign there. I simply put a dollar sign in the first one, and that enabled me to copy and paste that formula to the 1st and 15th all the way down. If the dollar sign, if you don't understand that and you don't like that, just type equal J7 on the 1st and 15th all the way through, and that will work. Okay? Or you'll put it in wh whenever you're getting paid. That's what you'll put. You'll put equal to whatever your take-home pay is estimated to be. So you'll start by putting in your income. Net, so on this side, you don't put anything other than formulas. If it doesn't start with an equal, you're making a mistake. So every single number in here is not a number. It's a formula. Next, you'll see that I have food and fun, food and fun, food and fun. If you're not already doing it, you should be giving yourself an allowance. Every week or every month, if you want, or every two weeks, I don't care. Give yourself an allowance. Go to the bank, take out the cash. I realize we're all on debit cards and credit cards and the rest of that stuff. You can do that with plastic if you want. It's just harder to take care of. But give yourself an allowance. Plastic, paper, I don't care how you do it, but do it and stick to it. It will make the whole budgeting process that much easier. Trust me, if everyone on the planet were doing this, we wouldn't be in the problem that we're in. So here, this is a really low amount, okay? and it can change once again. So here, you can type the food and fun and just repeat it every seven days, and that's what I've done here. And here again, this is a formula. It's simply a formula saying equal whatever's in this cell. So in this case, it was J17. And again, I copied, I, I put a dollar sign in front of the 17 here, and that allowed me to copy that cell and paste it and paste it and paste it. The dollar sign simply locks in the 17, which is what I want. So now if I come here and I say, I wanna up my allowance because I can afford to, because I've got all this extra money, so I can up my allowance to 300, and how's that going to work? Well, now, by changing that, all my numbers change, and I can scroll down just to make sure that I'm not in the red at any point in time, and I'm not. I'm still good. So I've just upped my weekly allowance from 200 to 300, no problem. Next thing, figure out how much you're paying rent and mortgage, which is very easy for you to know. And if it's a monthly, then you only need to put it in once a month. If it's weekly, then you have to put it in once a week. So here, I'm pretending that this person is paying their mortgage on the 28th of every month. And again, it is not a number, it's a formula. This way, if they want to see, can I afford a better, bigger house? And if I upped my mortgage to 2,500, how would that affect me? I would still be good. I'm in the black. So this person can afford 
a bigger mortgage right now or to pay down the mortgage quicker. Car payments, a lot of us have car payments, same deal, all right? You put it in where it is, it's coming out, and again, it's a formula linking to your car payments. Bills, try to pay your bills once a month. You might also have a side formula that adds up all of your various bills, okay? Try to keep your bills consistent. And again, your bills might be higher than this once you get your cell phone, your gas, your water, all the rest of that stuff. So if you want to increase that and see what happens, so I've just increased the 350 once, and as per everything else, it changes all the way through my spreadsheet. That's the beauty of this budget is you make the changes once and then you see how they affect you through the entire year. At no point in time can you go into the red. That's the whole point of this. I don't want to run out of money at any given time. Okay, so whatever decisions I make today, I see how they impact me down the road. The formula, you might be thinking, what's this crazy formula? It's a simple formula. It's really simple. For the rest of your life, it's simply whatever you had in the bank at the end of the day yesterday, plus whatever you happen to take in today, minus whatever you happen to spend today. For the rest of your life, that is the formula. Simply whatever you had yesterday, plus whatever comes in today, minus whatever comes out today. Now, even though you don't have anything planned for income or expenses on any of these days, the formula still has to be there for every single one. So you simply type that in to this cell and you copy it all the way down for the rest of the year. That's the only thing you need, all right? So you just use your little fill handle here and you copy that down all the way through, okay? So simply whatever I had yesterday, which is in F4, plus whatever comes in today, which is B5, minus whatever comes out today, which is E5, or D5. And you copy that all the way down. This way, if an expense occurs that you weren't expecting, okay, let, let's say here, we end up having a car payment or a breakdown that costs us $400. You plug it in, and then you can put your explanation, car, and then you gotta see how that's gonna affect you for the rest of the year. Here, it ends up coming close, right? We only have 200 left, but as the year progresses, we're fine. That's gonna be okay. If you wanna know whether or not you can take a trip in March or February, you can plug it in, say 3,000, and you'll see that that clearly doesn't work. 